Hey everybody, this is Dr. Sierra, and sorry if you just watched my last live video, I had some connection issues. Um, so I thought I would just record it again so there wasn't any patchiness. But um, So today I'm going to talk about Healthy Swap and hand sanitizers and hand soaps. Um, you know, originally I had been looking up some information about this and I was going to talk to you a little bit about triclosan. So if you hadn't heard of that before, in 2016 it was actually banned from being used as um, any products of hand soaps and hand sanitizers. That was one of the big products out there that was antimicrobial in nature and they used it in surgical rooms and so forth. But one of the things that they found is that it actually is an irritant and an allergen. So um, they stopped using that altogether. And a lot of comments that I heard or that you could see when people were reading these articles that it was banned is like, well, what are we going to do now? How are we going to sanitize our hands and so forth? And well, the big thing was is that even though it was antimicrobial in nature, it was causing more problems. It was leading to um, microbial resistance. So that means that if you did have an issue, antibiotics weren't working on that. And it really wasn't any more effective than just hand washing with regular soap um, without that antimicrobial component. So that's why it was banned. Um, also, that goes hand in hand with you know using. I'm sure there'll be more products coming out that were antimicrobial, as well as using. Um, um, different things for um, basically sanitizing. So hand sanitizers that you may keep in your purse or your bag. Um, hand washing really is just the best way to do it. You know, and the old adage used to be is, you know, make sure that you're singing happy birthday twice while you're washing your hands and that's how you know you're doing it for long enough and killing off the germs. Um, so that is my first comment. And again, if you're watching this video, definitely give it a like or, you know, share it. If you're looking for more um, healthy swaps, you can go back on my Facebook page and you'll see the other things that I talked about this month, as well as you can always check out my YouTube channel and my website where I have different blog articles and so forth. Um, so when we talk about the healthy swap this month, this is going to be a cheap healthy swap because hand soap and hand sanitizer and things like that are relatively affordable. Um, I know for me that even when I go out in public, I don't use the soap that they have in the bathroom because I don't know what's in it. So I do use some hand sanitizing products, even though hand washing is hands down the best um, thing that you should be doing. But I am pretty uh, allergic to things when I was a kid. Anytime I wash the dishes or if we got the wrong soaps or even, you know, back then sunscreens would really burn my skin. Um, my hands would peel from the different soaps. And now I know it was probably from a chemical that was inside of it. It wasn't me being sensitive, it was because those chemicals are really bad for you. So now I use a website called ewg.org. So again, if you are not um, familiar with that website, I've talked about it a little bit here and on my page, I reference it often. Um, they have different guides on there and hand soap and hand sanitizer are actually gonna fall under the skin deep guide, not under the guide for healthy cleaning in your home. Um, so those products are rated one to 10 with 10 being um, extremely toxic and one or zero being non-toxic. So um, you can check out your products that you're using it um, using now and try to swap those out. Um, so I just want to give you a couple tips on different brands that I really like for at home. So um, hand sanitizer wise, I do try to look for ones that don't have alcohol in them for a couple reasons. Number one, it does create some of that microbial resistance um, when you have alcohol in them, but also they're really, really drying on your skin. Um, so if you can look for ones without that, it would say it right on the package because they're saying, hey, this product is healthier and they want to tell you about it. Um, I like Baby Gannix. Um, again, I have two small kids, so I'm very accustomed to shopping in the baby aisle. Um, if you go to Target, which most moms love Target, um, it is in the baby section. It's not in the antimicrobial aisle where the soaps are. Um, so that's where you'll find the Baby Gannix hand sanitizer. That's the one that I keep with me in my diaper bag as well as um, you know in my purse and so forth. Another great brand is Everyone. Um, they have some hand sanitizer out there that is EWG approved. You can get it on Mine. You can also, they carry it at most of the health food stores. Um, I haven't noticed it at Target or at Publix and I've been shopping there, but um, I wasn't looking for it. So if you see it there, shoot me a message or a comment on here and let me know if you've seen it. Um, those are some different brands. But if you are at home um, and you're cleaning your dishes or washing your hands, a great brand other than those two that I mentioned is um, just using Castile soap. Castile soap has a lot of bang for its buck because it is a multi-purpose item. 
you can use it to wash your body you can wash your hair with it you know all different things at home I usually just use it for washing dishes or things like that um, but I do love it because when I travel they have little bottles of it and a lot a little bit goes a long way when it comes to Castile soap and they have the little bottles of it and when we travel I just bring one of those and we use it for everything so I use it to wash my kids bottles I use it to wash my kids I wash myself with it um, we use it to wash the dishes and all of those different things you can actually even use it in the laundry I don't do a lot of laundry when I'm traveling but again you can bring that and use that as your laundry soap um, it's very non-toxic um, so it is great if you have little kids or maybe even babies and you're using that baby soap um, on them um, so that's a great tip for traveling and so forth and use again less products are more I mean I don't know about you but you know when I was a kid we would you would open up the cabinet you'd have like one product for this and one product for that I'm trying to get away from that and just having a few different products at home that we can use all the time and rather than having this one's for my bath this one's for my hands this one is to clean the counters this one is for this it's too much so um, those are just the different ways to swap it out so again this um, this week and um, if you're gonna do a swap this is again a cheap swap so if that's something that you are interested in doing um, go home check out your products look them up on EWG and try to get a better product next time um, if you have questions about how to use EWG or how to find your products if they're not on EWG they're probably not very helpful healthy um, or you can message me and I can tell you about them um, or we can look at the ingredients together so um, one of the great things about EWG is if it does have a toxicity level so again I try to keep everything below four is pretty high for me I like to be three two one or EWG verified um, if you click on it it's gonna tell you what the chemical in it is that is actually causing the toxicity so you can actually do some even more research into like okay I really like this product what's in it and it will tell you um, what kind of if this one affects your liver this one is affecting allergens this one's asthma things like that so it's a really great tool and resource I will post the link in the comments and how you can find that um, but so that's your healthy swap for today um, if you have questions about that reach out to me if you're watching this on Facebook you can go back and look at some of my other videos from this month and if you're on YouTube you can see those as well so hope you guys are all having a great Monday again this is Dr. Lee Sierra you can find me here on Facebook also you can find me on YouTube at Dr. Lee Sierra have a great day bye guys